When Country Arts SA was given responsibility for the Regional Centre of Culture by the South Australian Government back in 2007, we didn't dare to dream how significant the impact on small regional communities would be. But with participation of 128,000 throughout three intensive years of activity in the Alexandrina Council region, right across art form, the results have been spectacular and heartwarming. This bold vision has made the nation sit up and take notice, and new cultural places funds available via the Australia Council's community partnerships will see regional communities nationally benefit in the same way this one has. What you're about to see is evidence that participation in and exposure to arts in its myriad forms has changed the lives of these people and the place they live. The Just Live Water program has really um, engaged with the community and in a level which has not been seen in the region before. It's, uh, it's given all sectors of the community the opportunity to become involved in the art in various forms and to enjoy it and participate in it. And it's, it's just been the best thing that's happened to the region in the economy and the tourism as well as the arts community which is very strong. It made me think, crikey, if this sort of thing's on, then what else is going to happen? I was a new resident and I picked up the program and I remember thinking, oh my God, I've come to somewhere with culture. <laughs> Fantastic. During the Just Add Water program, there was hardly anything we missed out on. The wonderful act of Grace Barbie from the Seychelles, so many exhibitions that we've been to, all things of the grist to our mill. And we're just having a ball and it's just getting bigger and better and brighter. I arrived at the council in very early 2010 and the waters were just coming back to the river and uh, I can remember the excitement of the community group when they realised that they had a great name, Just Add Water. Gore is alive with the arts and um, it's livened the town up. It's made the town look good. People are um, proud of it and confident of it. It transformed like the river did. There was a renewal, there was, there was new interest, there was growth. Thank you for coming out this afternoon to Centennial Hall in Goa. It's a fabulous place to come to. It's a beautiful hall. Please give it up for um, Country Arts SC and your local council for doing this. There's community groups coming out of the reeds, out of wherever, and um, they all had an interest in just add water and it was about the cultural experience that they were going to bring. But this brought everyone to a place and it was a place that they all had an emotional, physiological, historical con uh, connection with and we were celebrating it and everyone got that. I think it had a lot to do with some of the people that were working here at council at the time and could really see the great benefits and opportunities that such a program would be able to bring to its community. My involvement with the Just Add Water program is I run a local youth theatre here and also we've been asking for a bit of help as well from Country Arts SA in particular that have uh, managed to give us a few uh, insights and mentoring in our roles as youth theatre directors for the Strathalbyn Youth Theatre. A great project which had impact on our community was the Drawing on Country project and I think that worked so well because it really gave local people an opportunity to be actively participating. I first became involved in Just Add Water two years ago when we had it first of all at Clayton and uh, being an initiative um, that was planning to draw the community together we certainly didn't even hesitate to become involved. My involvement with Just Add Water has been here at Create and Connect with some of the workshops such as puppet making and the paper mache dogs. I helped co-write the production The Black Face Shag. This was my first big gig, so to speak. It was a really big step for me and really exciting. I was approached by the people from the Just Add Water program. I jumped at the opportunity so that I could uh, meet the community, the arts community, 
and it was such a wonderful experience because I could showcase my painting artworks and introduce myself to the community down there and also the community was introduced to me. If one thing has inspired me, I guess it would be seeing how people work and how they develop an idea and it ends up becoming a production or a show. Performing my work in front of a large crowd was the biggest impact for me, having only ever performed to immediate family and friends. Staring at 30 young faces from the age of 7 to 17, knowing that I had no experience in teaching or group work or anything like that, as soon as I opened my mouth, having their engagement with me was the biggest rush of elation I've ever felt. As we were doing the pelican dance, there was this massive amount of like pelicans just flying over that way, and I said, "Oh, look, look, look at that!" I was looking at the pelican while we're doing the pelican dance, and, and yeah, that was really great. I, th I think the joy of seeing people coming out of Centenary Hall, experiencing what they've just seen, and just the wow factor and. And it's just wonderful because it's, you know, it's from the little tackers that come in the school programs to the grandmas that come with their walkers that have to, you know, be assisted to their seat. But they're just so excited to be there and to think that they don't have to drive to Adelaide, you know, and, and the prices are wonderful and, oh, this is fantastic. I passed this house where this elderly woman was watering her roses. And I had pretty colourful clothes on. And she said, oh, you do look bright today. And I said, oh, yes. I said, I'm going off to one of the, the arts activities. And she looked at me and she said, you know, you said, she said, this art stuff has been really good for our town, hasn't it? The fact that uh, the young people were getting stuff from people with experience was just uh, gold for me. It's very hard to get that sort of experience uh, cold if you're just a young musician. Like I've been singing and playing music for as long as I can remember, but it's only up until these past couple of years that I'm actually starting to do things with it. Um, and I think Just Have Water has had a huge effect on me in that way. Um, just being around so many different styles of, like, songwriters and people that wrote different ways that I hadn't even known were like existed. Just doing that it was just amazing to be around that and just have that kind of influence. If you're looking at a program of events and going well there's maybe one thing that I'd like to do then yeah but if you're looking at a program of events and thinking there are things that I want to do every month of next year with this program. The fact that it was on it was it was bringing audiences, and I, it's almost like I could palpably feel the vibe living in Victor Harbour and, and, and that there was something going on. When I was volunteering at Signal Point and there was an exhibition on there, uh, one of the guys in our town came in he's, and he looked at me and said, Carol, I've been told to come and look. And in front of him was Patricia Piccinini, Big Mama. And he walked round and round and round and round, came over to me and his eyes were just about popping out of his head. And he said, wow, I didn't know that we had this sort of art. And the sponge as well, I've helped out with the sponge doing coordinating activities with children, working with different artists, very hands on and lots of children of really engaged with that activity. Oh, I loved uh, the uh, trumpet player, James oh. Morrison. We ended up having this um, just the most fantastic shot where um, he was sort of standing around everybody around blowing their trumpets at him and he was just like that. I've seen Ella Fitzgerald, I've, I've seen um, Dizzy Gillespie and they didn't hold a candle to this. Seeing that enthusiasm that he gave to those people, I realised, well, if I go in and photograph these people doing different things and I give them that enthusiasm, I get, I get the shots I want, I get them in their natural place. My favourite one, the one that sticks out for me, would be the Lakes Angels set. 
so I got involved with that. It was just unbe like unbelievable to, to put together and, and when I actually went and saw the show I thought, wow, I actually helped build this. I was really inspired by the young people that were telling their stories through film uh, and also the people that came out of the Saltwater Hero Film uh, Festival with some of the young people that were involved in that was highly inspiring. is full of little birds and you have huge flocks of cormorants in the sky and then the pelicans come too and they'll be fishing in the Coorong and you see them all diving and the terns diving too. When, when we had the drought it had cancer, it had all these pustules and it was all black. So yeah, it's, it's, um, it's, a, it's a worry for us. Because of my love of the arts and knowing what it can do for the health and well-being of, of people coming from the health industry. I saw um, incredible development and confidence building in, in our artists and seeing them grow in their work. Definitely, I think it's always very important when people with disabilities are able to do things in the community, not just excluding them. So I think I've been part of something very important. It's made me more social because so I'm not just sitting at home doing my own art, I'm getting out and I'm being involved with more of the community. I'm meeting lots more people and I didn't even know Just Add Water existed before I did this, but I'm glad I do know it now. The really essential thing is, is the revival of the human spirit down here, an optimism that wasn't there when we first came down here, and uh, uh, sort of a we can do it attitude, and we certainly can do it. Uh, it's had a, a marvellous impact on my daughter. She was working with a fantastic mentor once again, Cheryl Ann Brown, a beautiful artist. And, uh, and she really showed her what's possible and um, I've noticed the, you know, a marvellous benefit from that I think. Strath having um, such a dark cloud hanging over at the moment with uh, our high suicide rate and our high depression rate as well, knowing uh, how it affects me personally and how it has affect other community members, having people come here to be able to have an outlet to, you know, distract themselves from that. People coming in and enjoying themselves and laughing and that sense of community is also a big thing about this place and a big thing that I'm grateful to be able to offer to our community. Bringing people together in whatever shape or form that happens is a really good thing for people to be doing, you know, connecting, feeling a part of their community, feeling valued for their contributions, and that strengthens a whole community. And the place is alive, it's exciting. You know, look at all the volunteers that um, help with everything. Where were they before? And all of a sudden they're here out doing stuff. It's, yeah, it's, it's got a real vital attitude. It's great. And, so glad it happened. It has certainly, from my experience alone, brought more people down here for particular things. The opening, the waterfront event, salt water, all sorts of stuff. People came from elsewhere and they spent money. And, uh, and I think it's strengthened their bond with the place and now they see it in a broader light. Old people will come up to me, young people will come up to me and they'll be so appreciative of the art and the colour and, and what it brought to them in their homes, in their community, in their daily walks with their dogs. It's a quiet revolution which will slowly sow the seeds for change and for the better. The impacts on individuals do vary, in some cases it's been profound. In others it's a soft awakening, that living in a community which embraces opportunities for people to express themselves and to share that with others is healthy and it's fun. Well I think um, we, we must continue as a council and a community to support the arts and to continue the Just Ed Water program. We're going into 2015 with a new program which is exciting. There'll be additional things we'll fill into the program as well. But uh, we've created uh, a momentum that we mustn't lose and our community certainly don't want us to stop. If, you know, 120,000 people coming to support local cultural events, if that's what we can do in a small community like this, then that's got to be something worth supporting. Got to be, just got to be. Support it. <laughs> water, and just add water.